there friends nibs again <clears throat> out here in the garage doing a little bit of goofing around tonight and uh, I wanted to do something a little different for you guys I had a re actually a request by one of my regular uh, viewers on my channel here uh, that they wondered if the Crossman M177 with its rifled barrel and its counterpart the Good old Crossman 760 with its smoothbore. They're pretty much identical other than that. Uh, if there was any kind of appreciable difference uh, either way in foot per second. So I told them I didn't know, but we would find out. <laughs> so uh, these, both of these are very new production. Actually, this one has a date code of January of 22 on it. And this one has a date code of March of 21 on it. So they're not uh, like last month brand new, but they are very much uh, in good working order. And I expect they'll give us uh, top performance as either one should. So let's go ahead. I have, uh, I'm going to use the Meister Coogans again, seven green Meister Coogans. Those are the lightest pellets that I have here in the garage that aren't alloy uh, the lightest lead pellets that I have so and I'm really trying to use those with all of my tests that I do with a 177 caliber that way we'll know you know looking back uh, uh, have apples the apples to compare them to uh, down the road so but uh, let's go ahead and try it we'll, we'll do I'm going to do two shots with each with five pumps, and then we'll do two shots with each with ten pumps and see what kind of difference we get. All right, so M4 with five pumps. Gave me 495 feet per second. Let's do one more. I wish those newer 760s actually came with a magazine on them, like these. So 501. All right, so let's switch over to the 760 now with its smooth bore. I think the barrels are. I think the barrels are pretty comparable in length as well. So. If there is any difference, it should just be the, the difference and maybe uh, gets a little better seal with the, the rifling. Okay, five pumps from the 760. <laughs> Duplicate reading, look at that, <laughs> exactly the same. Let's do one more with the 760 and I think I've done a head to head challenge with these two already as far as accuracy goes and I'm pretty sure the M4 won that but All right. last one with the 760 with five pumps. 508, so he's getting a little bit more. <clears throat> All right, let's go back to the M4 now. And we'll uh, go up to 10 pumps. It's a little difficult to hold on to and get the last pumps. Last couple pumps done there. All right. 604. So I think the box says it's uh, up to up to 600 or is it 750 with alloy probably with alloy pellets I think is the claim with this one. Hmm. 
That is a handful to get those last last couple pumps. It's almost like the uh, the Benjamin. And 616, so 604 and 616, so just a little over 600 with the M4. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see what the 760 does. I don't feel that huge resistance building up with this one like I did at them higher strokes. So let's see what happens there. Six thirty nine. Hmm. That is very interesting. Even though it doesn't feel like it's pumping up as hard, it's definitely a lot more feet per second. I guess I, I guess I feel that resistance starting to build up there. All right, last one. Six forty one. So average of six forty with that. Average of about six ten with the uh, M four. So if this were a head to head challenge, the seven sixty would have won. But there you go. Uh, there is the question to the uh, the burning question of the universe for the day <laughs> which one is more powerful and uh, at least in my pair that I have the 760 has beat the M4177 at both five pumps and at ten pumps that's that's very interesting I, I I really did not expect that I expected the M4 to actually be more powerful but uh, there you go Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, have a great day.